How are we doing everybody? Welcome to Free Blokes of Beards. I'm Zach and today I'm going to be playing the second tablet game for the channel. Uh, Walking Dead No Man's Land. Now, ooh, what's going on here? I'm sorry, I got distracted. Anyway, this is a term... Oh, there's a zombie attacking my wall there. Thank you. Okay, so, uh, this is a turn-based battle game set in the Walking Dead universe. Now, this is my third attempt at attempting to record this today. And when it gets to the point when it's t I tell you why it's not worked, I will let you know. But, I did try and record this from the very start of the game with tutorials so that I didn't have to explain a load of features in one video again. But it didn't work, and I will explain why when it's time. But it is really frustrating when you're trying to make a video and there's always some unforeseen error that just gets in the way. Anyway, so this is my camp. The storyline is we escaped from a prison of some kind. I can't remember what it's called, Tiberius or something like that. And I had three survivors at first, which are Ken, Anne and Joel over there. And then I've radioed in more survivors, Eleanor, Freddy and Scott to come and help me and this is our camp so that we're here to live out the apocalypse in peace and harmony sarcasm now first thing I'm going to want to do is show you around the camp so starting from left to right you have this bit that means that I can hold more food up there so I can build more stuff the hospital must be where you I haven't actually had to use that yet and that was already here when I got here and that's probably where you revive dead characters. That bit is the training area so that characters can get stronger with the experience I've earned up here. That is the quote unquote council, the great wise council that tell us that means that I can upgrade the place and get new places like a radio tent and a workshop. Uh, that's a farming bit there where I can get food from and that gives me experience every now and then. And that, the mission car, means that I can go on to um, do missions more frequently because it will be able to hold nine gallons of petrol instead. Now, down there, as you can see here, not, come on. Thank you. There's Daryl. Daryl helped us escape and set up a camp and everything, and he's just hanging around until we've sorted everything out. Now, to the actual missions. Now, the first one, episode one, Road to Terminus. Terminus, that was the name. We've had to go back there to see if there's more survivors. And to do that, we've had to do these missions all the way up to here. Now, this is the final mission. And when we complete this mission, we'll be unlocking a new class for the characters. Which is annoying because I recorded all of these and then it corrupted. So, fuck you, tablet, again. Anyway, camp. What's this? Challenges. I can't. Level 3 to unlock that one. Outpost level 4 to unlock that one. To the map. Let's play. So. You can only take two survivors on this mission. What? Usually you're able to take three. And I need level 3 survivors. Oh god damn it. Would well, I even have level 3 survivors? No I don't. They're all level 2. Fuck. Alright. Let's go back and train some people shall we? Oh I can't because. Right. I'm going to have to spend some gold to speed this up. There we go. Now. Let's see, who should I train up? Can I even train anybody up? No, I can't train anybody up. How fucking great. Fantastic. Oh, I really wish the video hadn't corrupted, otherwise it'd be going a hell of a lot smoother. Oh well. Let's just do it anyway, shall I? Let's just do it. Wait, can I do one of the old missions? No, I can't. Fuck. Oh well, I'll just do this and hope that things go okay. Group photo! Group photo! Okay, so here we go. So, here's how it goes. You can see under the characters here, they've got a full circle pulsing. That means they have a full turn. If I was to move him just over here, that means he gets half a turn and he goes on to Overwatch. Now, Scott, coming over here. Wait a minute. Scott, you might be better staying there, but you see that little crown that's coming up above uh, that zombie's head there? That means that that zombie has spotted me. So he'll come and attack me on his turn. But it's best if I wait at the minute because Ken has only attracted the first zombie, which is here. So if I just end my turn, comes over, 
and Ken stabs him a bit. Yeah, he takes the hit, but Scott can now come. Actually, you know what? Ken can finish him. There we go. And Scott can attract the attention of one zombie because it's best to sometimes just take him out one by one. Now, there's a difference between Scott and Ken, you may have noticed. Scott has just managed to put an orange shuriken kind of thing on that guy. That means that he's stunned for one turn, meaning that Ken can finish him off. Now, Scott, can you... Let's see. Hmm. Okay, wait. Maybe... Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Well, he's got that zombie's attention now, so wait. And Scott stuns him. Nice. Okay, so there isn't much to the combat apart from this. Like, I want you to go here and do that, which is... Which isn't a bad thing. You uh, do what you need to do. And it's simple and easy to get a hold of. Oh, he didn't stun that one. Finish the job, Ken, before it hurts him. Yeah. Okay, now, it's not just fighting in this bit. For example, you see here, this glowing chest. I can tell Scott to examine that. Now, when he... Ex oh. Oh, no. It was actually an interactable environment. I wasn't expecting that because... All right, I'll explain it in a minute. Can you hear me? Keep it down. You can't kill us. Oh, that's a lot of walkers. Really? I only see one. No, I only see one. Okay, so, Scott, just poke your head round. All right, there's two there. Ken, you get here. Okay, right. End turn. Wait for it. Boom. Okay, so that one's stunned. Scott has to take a hit. No choice. Scott, you stunned that one. Can you kill that one? But. Okay, so. Uh, as I was saying. The, uh, sometimes. The characters. Can do other things. Like they can move that crate like they did there. They can interact with this here. Which Scott's going to do right now. So open it up. And we got Elaine and Angie. Thanks for getting us out. We were tricked by the. Behind you, walkers. I got him, Angie. Whoa. I don't know if you're a man or a woman, but you are hideous. Okay, so. They're all lined up. Just take them out like I showed you. Done. Okay, go on. Ooh. Okay, right. I haven't actually unlocked a hunter before, so it looks like she can attack more than one enemy in a row. Excellent. Do it. Okay, then. You want me to attack that one? Fine. Oh, ho ho. Very nice. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Sounds like a good idea to me. This way, follow me. All right, Ken. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, sometimes you find boxes to open. And when you open them, you unlock tokens that you use at the end of the level to win it, get a chance at bonus items, XP, food, and all that stuff. It might do it here. I'll just show you. Woohoo! And we got a new survivor. Uh-oh. There's no slots for her. Okay, right. Well, fuck it. I'll spend 100 gold and get another slot. There we go. I can earn the gold back anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay, so there we go. New hunter survivor. Nice. Okay, so. Is it going to do it? That Angie looks like she might be pregnant. Let's check up on her back at camp. Okay. The plot is thickening. What's going on? No wonder where you better stay behind in the camp. I can make myself useful here, being out looting for months, so I know all the best stashes. So, what in the right mind thought it would be a good idea to get pregnant now? That's good, because i got to get back to my own group. There's people who need me there. I'll take good care of these folks, Daryl. This is a perfect place to stay safe. Woohoo! I got a new class. I was trying to get into this abandoned military base. Oh, yeah, so she's just telling me about the new thing? Yeah, telling me about the new mission. Okay, so, go back here. So, as I've been trying to say for the fourth time now, sometimes you unlock these, oh, there's a zombie there. You find these crates on the field that you open. When you open them, you get a token. At the end of the level, you use these tokens to open up chests, which could give you bonus items. It's going to take her 10 minutes to train. Wow. Might have got an achievement there. Let's just see what it is. And I'm just trying to uh, think where I can do a mission now so that I can uh, show you exactly what it is I'm trying to talk about. Although I will show you this. Where is it? How did I do it again? 
Where do I manage survivors? That's one thing it hasn't actually told me. I don't know how to look at my survivors and equip them with stuff. That's odd. If I get rid of that. Oh, there we go. So look, you can buy outfits for these characters because we've got Carlo Wolf, Jesus, Daryl Sleeveless, Normal, Daryl, <laughs> Daryl Vest, Rick, and all that stuff, which is what I was saving my gold for. And it's all gone. Oh, well. Anyway, so, ooh, pipe. So that he's got a new weapon. You, as you can see, you can equip them with new stuff. Uh, Ken. Oh, can't wear that because you have to be level three. But you have got a butterfly knife now, which is nice. And I've also got people like Freddy, Joel, Anne, and Eleanor. They're my other characters. Now, uh, what do you have to say to me? Let's continue with this mission. So, exploring missions lets you look for resources you need. Okay, let's try... Well, that one's red, so I have a feeling that I'm not strong enough for that. So let's go here. Mission reward. Oh, now I can have a third one back in. Let's have Freddy, because I can't have a gunner yet. So let's start the mission. Group photo again against this backdrop of zombies, which we managed to loot from a movie studio, I'm guessing. So we'll just do another fight here. Oh, here we go. Check all glowing objects for supplies. Look for car trunks, crates, vending machines, and doors. So you see up here, these three locks. I'm guessing that when I found the supplies, these will fill up one by one. And you use those to open up crates at the end of the level. Right, got his attention. Wait for it. To get new supplies and experience and all that stuff. Four turns until two more zombies, I'm guessing that means. All right, end turn. Walker's turn, right. He's stunned. He's stabbed. And he's actually dead. Good hit, Ken. All right, then, in that case, let's see. Freddy? Try and finish that guy off. Good one. All right, Freddy just... Oh, no, he's had his turn. Okay, Ken, move up a bit. There you go. Attract that attention. Scott, you get here. Here, hope you're both on Overwatch. Here we go. Yep, they're both on Overwatch. So, Ken, stab it. And he actually killed it. Good, yeah, good thing I gave him the butterfly knife, eh? All right, Ken, open that up. Yep, there we go. He's found one of the supplies. So, let's see. Scott, you poke your head around there. You see nothing. Freddy, you poke your head around here. There there we go. Yeah, because there's a fog of war on this game, so you might get ambushed without realizing it. So, end turn. Get our full turns back. There you go. You get there, and you attract that one's attention. Freddy, you hold your ground. Ken, you move up and get ready to help. Okay, here we go. End turn. Wait for it. And he's stunned. Right, now you see that number next... Wait, did I mention this already? I don't... Oh, no, I haven't. So, there's a difference between bladed weapon characters and blunt weapon characters. Blunt weapon characters, as you can see, can stun an enemy, which means they'd have to take a whole turn getting up or suffer... And it... Ooh, what's that? What's going on here? I haven't seen those before. But, yeah, they'd have to spend a whole turn getting up... And they miss out on attack, meaning that somebody else can attack them, or you can avoid getting hurt. Oh boy, I just saw that. The other two just walked in behind me. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Ken, you go and get that one. Good. Scott, check the trunk. Ready? Finish that one. Good job, everybody. Right, the walkers are coming, meaning we've got to go. Unless we work as a team, because there's the last chest, but I'll be cornered. So, Ken, you might be able to move faster than everyone, so you get in there. Freddy, you take a half turn and defend yourself. Scott, you take a half turn, just in case that this one decides to come over. Okay, so that one's stunned. Don't have to worry about him. Ken, check the chest. Scott, you're on Overwatch, yep. Freddy, kill that one. Good job. All right, Scott, get ready to hit this guy whenever she walks in. Right, so I've got all the supplies I need. And it's stunned. Freddy, you actually go that way and attract that one's attention. Scott, finish that guy. Good job. 
And Ken, make a fucking move. And end turn. Right, here it comes. Oh, there's another one. Fuck. But it's alright. I don't think they can walk past their allies. Okay, so let's have a look at this then. Freddy. No, I want Freddy. Right, Freddy, use your smash on that thing, I'm guessing. Wait, how do I do it? I don't know. Ken? You just stab that one. There we go. Freddy, forget your smash. Go and stun this one. There we go. And Scott, you move up. Because our objective is to get to this area here. Oh, the zombies are coming in and they're getting harder. Right, we have to get here. Not to kill all zombies, that's our objective. Just get here and we're fine. Yeah, like it says there. So, I've got to get out of here now because the zombies are getting very strong. Whoops. I might be able to get away with this. Just get to the exit, Freddy. Come on. There we go. And mission complete. There we go. So that's how you play the game. Now there are other things as well. You do see things that flash red, which means they're dangerous and they attract more walkers when you use them. And it could be good, it could be bad, you don't know. But yeah, this is the bit that's been corrupting my videos. Right, so I'll show you. So I'll choose this one. Let's see what I get out of it. And this one, and this one. Ooh, I got a silver. So 360 experience, a new phone, and a new bat. Nice. Now you see that up there in the corner? Watch video. Every time I've chosen that option, it's caused the tablet to crash. And I haven't been able to do the video because the video's been corrupt. So I'm not doing it this time. Because I want to get this fucking video out. And it's really annoyed me now because the video has really suffered because of that horse shit. And I do apologise if this isn't as good of a video as you were expecting. But I have tried three times to get this done today. And it's really annoying me now. Now. So that's pretty much it for the game so far. I am going to do more videos of this just going through the story and seeing what happens. But until then... This is all you're going to get for now, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, if I shoot them, they come and attack the wall and I get stuff for it, so that's nice. I don't think they'll ever break through, but it's always fun to just make them explode with whatever it is I'm shooting them with. But, I, I again, I do apologise that this isn't a, as good of a quality video. The first one, if it had not corrupted, stupid tablet, would have been better. And I do apologise. But now I know not to trust the tablet. Pretty much. And hopefully I can avoid making that same mistake in the future. So. Ladies and gentlemen. There are more videos of this to come. They might take a while to do. But they will come. I promise you this. If you like what you're seeing so far. I hope you stick around. And watch them when they come out. And if you do want to watch them. There's four ways to let us know. By liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing. Because each one really helps out. Thanks for dropping by everyone. And I'll see you next time.